We'll get to the pot of gold in the rubber raft. We won't sink in this. That's what they said about the Titanic. Boy, oh, this is dangerous, Scott. I expect to see icebergs any minute. But we couldn't get down to the end of the rainbow. Ugh. From up on the cliff? This is the only way we can get in. Getting out is all I'm interested in. Hey, what happened to your fancy talk? Ooh, what do you mean? I always talk good. You said it. <laughs> T-Bob, where are you? T-Bob! Oh, I'm drowning. Oh. Telescope your legs down. I am, oh, but I'm not touching anything. It's too deep. And too late. Something. There's an old wreck under there. You're gonna be a wreck too if we don't get out of here. Ooh, we'll get to that rock if we walk on the mast. Hang on, Scott. Oh, great flood. These tire tracks could only belong to one set of vultures. Venom. Wolf vipers, maybe they can tell me something. I'll put these through analysis when the Thunderhawk arrives. Mayhem's not going to pull any wool over my eyes. If only that raft didn't rip. I got an idea. What do you think? Good idea, but why didn't you think of it sooner? You always criticize me. Whoa! I should have called you Tea Crab. Look, T-Bob, it's that rainbow again. This time, I'm gonna get that pot of gold. Ah, uh, the gold isn't real. It's just an illusion. You know what they say. Easy come, easy glow. You said it, T-Bob, and it's coming from over there. Let's go. It's a mirror. Sort of. It's a prism reflecting the gold. Yeah, that's the gold we saw earlier with Mike. Yeah, but we didn't see this. Wow, oh, I'm sure seeing it now. And I don't intend to close my eyes for a second. Gee, if we could get a sample, Dad would believe us. Sounds like we got company. Uh-oh, here comes trouble with a capital V. Boy, it sure is getting crowded in here. Come on, we've got to hide. at all that gold the shepherd was right close your mouth rax before a bat mistakes it for a cave look at them gold bars and gold coins and gold shut up tiger and put those bug eyes of yours back into that ninny brain of yours and get me the gold Treasure is in there. Blast it out of there.
Here's that analysis on the wool fibers. Subject confirmed. Wool fibers. Result of analysis. Fibers are from new strain of tracker sheep. Not exactly Mary's little lamb. You're right. Patty and Mike are the only ones handling those sheep. Let's go question them. Hi. I hope to get some of the treasure for myself. A sheep herder's off so poor. The only thing he has in his pockets be his hands. Seems to me you don't care what you have to do to line those pockets. The gold would have been mine. But those thieves threw me out after I told them where it was. About this gold, sir, where did it come from? Why, your schoolboy knows the legend of Brian Baru, the 11th century king who planted a vast treasure of gold in a secret cave in the rocks to trick those who wanted his lands and his treasure. Any invaders who came looking for it got their boats smashed on the rocks and were captured when they tried to get it. So, Scott and T-Bob were telling the truth. You'll be sorry if you go there. Just like Mayhem and his friends, a thousand fairy darts will be your only reward. Where to, Matt? Follow the rainbow. Rock away, T-Bob. Hey, who did that? Open again, Dagger. Move these rocks, now! But I did! The leprechauns moved them back! I won't take any more lame brain excuses from a lame brain! Now get back to work! You know what the shepherds said! Them leprechauns got this place, and they're gonna get us with them fairy dots! You moronic jerk! I'll give you something to worry about if you don't keep working! Venom's probably at the end. Blast! To your vehicles! Tiger, continue blasting! Hey! It's Dad and the team! Ooh! Just in time! Like the cavalry! <laughs> Better next time. Hey! We found the treasure of Brian Baru! And there's none of them leprechauns inside! Shut up, you brainless cretin! We'll load up what we can, then we'll come back for the rest! Doesn't that tin can pilot ever give up? Get in, Rax, before I change my mind. It can be Scott and T-Bob. Not again. Then we saw Mayhem and Dagger loading up the gold. You should have seen what we did to them. Dagger was convinced we were leprechauns. Yeah, it's too bad the leprechauns aren't really around to protect the gold. Maybe there are, but you two, wait in here. I would not live to do that fight for you. Yo! You imbecilic moron! It's a leprechaun! No such things! Keep working! The wrath of all the wee people in Ireland be upon ye if you don't return our gold. Get moving, you gawking goon! Very ah! Dawn! Wait, Dagger! I'm getting out of here! <laughs> 